ABS disposable formworks are single-use concrete shaping structures. They are also called void formers, permanent formworks. They create reinforced concrete raised floors up to 300 centimeters, thus providing a light, fast, easy, and economical filling in any structure. There are two types, ABS level, fixed height, and ABS plus, adjustable height, disposable formworks. ABS plus system consists of four different elements, base, spacer, leg, and dome. Before installation, concrete residues, rubble, and debris should be removed from the application area. The walls surrounding the application area should be marked with the required finish height. The thickness of the covered concrete and the disposable formwork dome height are deducted from this finish height and the leg height is marked separately. Where domes cannot be placed in full, 5 by 10 timber or steel brackets can be installed on the walls as consoles just under the leg finish. During dome installation, these consoles will be used to support partially cut domes to cover the openings between the wall and the full domes. Once the area is ready, products can be brought to the application area. The legs can be brought to the site in full or they can be cut to size in factory before shipment. Full length legs can be cut with a grinder on site. Placement of the bases starts at the upper right corner. The first base to be placed into the corner must be cut by a grinder on one edge to form a 90 degree angle. Starting from the first base, the spacers and bases are mounted together to form a grid over the entire application area. In a ramp construction, the spacers can be fitted to the bases only parallel to the slope, not to the slope's direction. At this stage, mechanical, plumbing, and electrical installations can be placed under the disposable formworks. These installations can be mounted on hanger profiles and clamps placed on the floor. Pre-cut legs are pressed into the bases. Installation of the dome starts at the top right corner where the first base was placed. When the first dome is placed, the starting arrow on the dome should be in front of the worker and the other arrow should be on his left. The second dome is placed to the left of the first dome, again with the arrows pointing in the same direction. After the first row is finished, all the other rows continue from right to left. Domes are always placed from right to left and from top to bottom so that they fit each other perfectly. The domes must be fully inserted into the legs. Once all the domes are in place, the mounting of the partial domes is carried out on the pre-assembled consoles. The gap between the wall and the dome grid is measured and full domes are cut to desired extent with a grinder and the cut side is placed on the console and the other side is firmly placed into the leg. 10 by 5 by 71 centimeters of ABS plus dome side closer EPS bars or 10 by 5 timbers are placed between the wall and the edge of the full dome. This ensures that the formwork system is sealed from all four sides. Polyurethane foam can be used to cover any other irregular openings. Now, steel mesh placement can start. While placing the steel mesh, workers are advised to step on the previously placed mesh. Each mesh is overlapped by at least two rows. Unless otherwise specified, a minimum Phi 8 steel reinforcement bars should be placed into the legs over the steel mesh. Concrete casting should be done with at least S4 viscous concrete to fill the legs easily. When pouring concrete, First, the legs and gussets should be filled up to the steel mesh throughout the entire area to keep the formwork system stably in balance. The casting of the slab concrete should be done afterwards. To avoid overpressure of the formwork structure, the mouth of the pump hose should be kept up to 20 centimeters above the domes. The concrete should flow from the dome and arches into the leg so that no air stays trapped inside. It is essential that the domes are poured after making sure that the legs are filled first.
Immediately after filling, before the legs are lost in concrete, all the legs should be stabbed several times with a steel rod with a rounded tip in order to release the air trapped in the leg during casting. When pouring the concrete on the domes, a vibrator can be used. During casting, concrete should not be stacked on a single dome. The hose should be moved around constantly to prevent a dome collapse. Depending on weather conditions, the concrete surface should be watered daily for seven days after pouring. 